Welcome guys to another video. Uh, today's video I want to talk about the difference between being a good guy and being the quote unquote nice guy. So obviously if you're in this dating space, you generally know that people think of nice guys as pushovers, someone that you don't want to be, girls choose the bad boys over the nice guy. And usually you're kind of like look past and for the most part I agree, but I think that People go to extremes. They think you either have to be a nice guy or you have to be like a really like, uh, you know, you have to be like a big a-hole in order to get girls. And while being an a-hole can get some girls, I'm just telling you that you don't need to be one. There's always that healthy um, medium balance. And that is my opinion. Just being a good guy. Uh, you can be a good guy without being a nice guy. And you can be a good guy, obviously, without being an a-hole. And I just want to kind of clear up the distingu um, differences between the both. So usually you can still be a good guy but not be pushed over. So for example, a girl flakes on a date or she doesn't confirm a time or she kind of ignores you. My opinion, instead of like uh, the nice guy will try and try and try again while the a-hole may call her out on it. Um, me personally, I kind of look the other way and I just ignore her and I don't ask her out again. So I'm being non-reactive. But at the same time though, I'm not going to... Um, ask her out again because if you have a little bit of respect for yourself then you realize that if she would have wanted to come out she would have answered but because she didn't I just assume that she's not interested so I just kind of move on um, kind of the same thing with uh, dealing with people in general um, usually you can tell if somebody's taking advantage of you or if somebody's trying to get one over on you uh, myself personally, I'll call them out, not in a mean way, but I'll stand up for myself and I'll confront them and just have a talk with them instead of, again, being the nice guy, letting that happen, or again, being the a-hole, I don't want to say a-hole, but someone who reacts very emotionally, um, confronting, uh, being very reactive in an aggressive way. Um, unless you're about to get in a fight, uh, I don't think that's really the right way to go about things. I think you can still... Be rational, but you can still stand up for yourself and have some respect for yourself and come to an agreeable um, solution without having to it be like a big confrontation or to a point of becoming physical. So I think being a good guy, uh, you know, in life, I think it's just very vital to, to be good to others, um, show respect as long as it's reciprocal. You can't go wrong with that. So I think too many people think that everyone's out to get them or you need to be this way to everybody. There are times when you do need to stand up for yourself. I totally agree. Um, there are times when if somebody's doing something to you to call them out, um, not in an aggressive way, but in a way to let them know that you're not happy with what they're doing. And if they continue set that down path um, or their behavior towards you, then you're going to cut off the relationship and uh, just to move on. So I just want to let you guys know when it comes to dating, um, while it is popular to have these two ends of the spectrum, and while sometimes being the quote unquote, you know, more emotional, not emotional, but being like quite, uh, you know, uh, outspoken if something doesn't go your way when a girl, uh, you know, whatever she does. Well, it's sometimes it works. I'm just saying that that's not the only way. I'm saying that you can still be a good guy but have respect for yourself and have boundaries. I think that's the most important thing, unlike the nice guy who typically doesn't have boundaries. And that's why girls and guys walk all over him. So you can still be a good guy. You can have your boundaries um, and you can still have a very good, healthy dating life. But you just have to know when, to, uh, when those boundaries are crossed, when you have to speak up on them. And again, the person's either going to take what you say seriously or they're going to continue their behaviors. And if they do, that's when you cut them off and you just move on without having to say anything. Again, sometimes silence is the greatest answer of them all. So with that, guys, I hope that made sense. Let me know if you agree, disagree, leave any, leave any comments down below. Uh, my contact details are in the description. As always, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you.